Okay, so in this video, what we're going to be looking at is integration still. It's still just integrating, but the question's written in a slightly different way. Instead of having the integral sign, each of these is starting off with dy by dx equals. And I need to find y equals. Ordinarily, when we were looking at differentiation, we'd start off with the y equals and find dy by dx. So we're just reversing the process. Each of these would be referred to as a differential equation. Okay? Um, and what I am doing is, in each case, finding a general solution. And that's called a general solution because it has this plus c involved. Okay? Where the plus c could be any particular value that you like. Okay? So that's why we call it a general solution, because it's a generalized version of the solution. Okay? It's not a particular one. So let's get started. So if dy by dx is equal to 3x, then y will be equal to the integral of 3x, which is adding 1 to the power. Let me move myself over here. We're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. And then we've got that plus c constant of integration. Now, that's perfectly good as an answer. Uh, you could also write that as 3 halves x squared plus c, either or. Okay, Both of them mean the same thing. So that's the first one. Now, number 2. We've got dy by dx equals 4x cubed minus 8x plus 7. So we're going to integrate the 4x cubed. So add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. Then the minus 8x, so add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. And the 7 integrates to 7x. And then I add on that constant of integration c. Now these fractions can be simplified. So 4 over 4 is just 1, so that's 1 lot of x to the 4. 8 over 2 is 4, so take away 4 lots of x squared, plus the 7x, plus c. Okay, so that is uh, the general solution for this differential equation. Okay? Number 3. The y by dx equals 8 over x cubed. Now, before we want to integrate, okay, we want to get this into a format that we can integrate into the format of ax to the n. So I'm going to rewrite that as 8 lots of 1 over x cubed, so 8 lots of x to the minus 3. I'm now ready to integrate. So I'm going to add 1 to the power. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So I'm dividing by minus 2 as well plus c, that constant of integration. Now, 8 over minus 2 can be simplified. So that's minus 4x to the minus 2 plus c. OK? So that is the general solution for number 3. You can also write it, of course, as minus 4 over x squared plus c. Either of these two formats is perfectly fine. Let's have a look at number 4. dy by dx is equal to the fifth root of x. So it's not currently in a format that I can integrate. So I want to rewrite that as x to the 1 over 5, Okay, using my indices. So I'm going to add 1 to the power. So 1 fifth plus 1 is 6 fifths. And I'm going to divide by that new power, plus that constant of integration c. Now. The coefficient of the x up here is 1. So 1 divided by 6 fifths is 5 sixths. So effectively, we find the reciprocal of that denominator fraction. And we have 5 sixths x to the 6 fifths plus c. OK? Now, you might be wondering, can I write it back in the format of a root? You can, but it's messy, OK? Um, the reason why it's messy is because we've got that 6 fifths rather than just 1 fifth. And you could write it as the fifth root of x to the power of 6. But this is quite messy to work with. Much easier to write it like that. Let's 
So finally, number five. Now, five is a little bit fiddly because we've got x minus 3x in the numerator and the square root of x in the denominator. Now, obviously, this is a fraction that hasn't been simplified. So um, I've got this x take away 3x, which is going to be minus 2x. So I can simplify that bit to start off with. But I'm still not going to be in a format that I'm going to want to work with and be able to integrate. So I'm going to rewrite the root x as x to the half. OK. Now, it's still not in the format of ax to the n, because I've got this fraction with x on the numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to have to think about, well, up here I've got x to the 1. Down here I've got x to the half. So x to the 1 divided by x to the half is x to the 1 take away a half, which is x to the half. So this is minus 2 x to the half. So this simplifies to this. OK? So this is what I want to integrate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 to the power. x to the, uh, sorry, 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. And I'm going to divide by the new power plus that constant of integration. Now what I've got here is minus 2 divided by 3 halves. That's the same as minus 2 times 2 thirds, which is minus 4 thirds x to the 3 halves plus c. So that is the general solution for the differential equation in number 5.